Today, I will be showing you how to make a DIY Bitcoin ticker powered by a dot matrix display running Python code on a Raspberry Pi version 3 plus. To complete just the standalone project, you'll need a Raspberry Pi. I used the Raspberry Pi 3 plus, but I recommend the Pi Zero as it is smaller with a weaker core, but is more than capable of handling the data gathering that the software will be doing. It is also significantly cheaper and smaller, along with an adequate 2 amp power supply and a micro USB cable. To start this project, you'll need a version of Raspbian already installed on your Raspberry Pi. Then you're going to need Python in order for the code to run. Any Python would work, but preferably a version newer than Python 2. To run the following lines of code, one after another, to download Python. sudo apt-get update, this updates any dependencies that it might need. sudo apt-get install, the following codes below that. Um, wget python.org slash python 3.8.0 slash python slash 3.8.0.tgz. This downloads the whole python file. Next, sudo tar xcf python 3.8.0. Next, cd python 3.8.0. You're changing directories to the python folder you just unzipped. sudo configure enable optimizations. This enables all the optimizations in the python file. sudo make slash j4. Next, sudo make alt install. This installs all the optimizations that you just selected. Next, you're going to need to install this thing called requests onto your Pi. To do this, run git clone https github.com slash psf slash requests dot git. Next, change directories to the folder, cd requests. And finally, pip install period. This will install requests using pip. Next, you're going to need something called Beautiful Soup. What Beautiful Soup does is it allows a program to read through a whole HTML file document and it extracts the only code it needs. So in our case, just the Bitcoin price. So this code doesn't actually use APIs. It reads the whole HTML page, pulls the data that it needs and does nothing else. The good thing about this is that APIs usually have a limit as to how much you can pull, whereas this would be unlimited. So you could pull as many times as you want. To do this, you're going to need to do pip 3.8 install beautiful soup 4. Now that beautiful soup 4 is installed, you're going to have to do sudo raspy config. Use the arrow down key to select to 5 interfacing options, arrow down to P4 SPI, and select yes when it asks you to enable SPI. Also select yes when it asks about automatically loading the kernel module. Use the right arrow to select the finish button, then reboot. This allows your Pi to send signals to the display port from port 4, which is where the LED or dot matrix display will be connected. Next, you're going to have to set up the dependencies that's required for the dot matrix display. To do this, type sudo usermod slash a slash g spi dot gpio space pi. Next, do sudo apt install build essential python dev and the following code below that. And finally, do sudo dash h pip 3.8 install slash upgrade luma dot led space matrix. What that does is it installs the drivers that's required for the dot matrix display to send signals to. Finally, you're going to plug in the cables to your Raspberry Pi using the schematic provided below. And lastly, you're going to need the software that does the grabbing from the website. So this would be Bitcoin Bar. To do this, type in git clone https github.com slash Jonathan Pira slash Bitcoin Bar dot git. This will download the file that's exactly needed. It's a Python file that does the pulling. To run this, type cd slash Bitcoin Bar, then Python BC Bar dot py. After this, you should be able to see that your dot matrix display is displaying information about the Bitcoin price, the circulation, the Bitcoin volume market cap, and what currencies are currently trending. Now that all of the software is installed, you're going to need to find an enclosure. A cheap Tupperware box would do the job perfectly, but I wanted something more personal that would not only look nice, but would be functional as well. I used Fusion 360 and modeled an enclosure to fit the electronics perfectly. The holes above are for passive heat dissipation along with heat sinks on the CPU of the Pi. You can grab these heat sinks from AliExpress for about $3, in which I recommend because they do an excellent job of dissipating heat. 
To install all the electronics, I used hot glue and screws to secure everything down properly. This ticker will be on 24-7 so I didn't bother initializing the boot sequence. The ticker has been working exceptionally for two days as of recording this video and I would definitely build another one in the future with many more displays connected together in series. If you'd like to code something in Python, you can code this yourself and make it display something like your YouTube subscribers or your Instagram followers or stock prices. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. My next video should be on the X-Way Flex or my new DIY electric mountain bike build that I will be doing.